is, is definitely a stronger team with relics, but uh, I'm also curious to see if Maywan if if Maywan just comes out and loses his mind and starts to throw down those op frags, then it doesn't even matter who their fifth is, you know? Yeah. And so, real quick, guys, while we're starting this thing off, let's get into these go lounge odds here. And uh, it's looking like it's kind of in favor of enemy here. I mean, 69-31 in favor of enemy. Third threes up is going to be your 31% uh, team here. So odds are definitely in favor of enemy. Let's see if that actually pans out. And uh, the odds are correct. Yeah, that, that does make sense to me as well. I think, uh, you know, enemy just kind of got the work from Liquid, which is kind of what every other team would get right now. Actually, frags are going the way in threes up. So we're going to have to talk about this in freeze time. Is Davy, Kiko, and Arya just finding individual Ooh. frags? Although Cooper Ooh. going nuts before Davy hits the jumping shot. So unfortunate that you can get killed by a jumping block like that in this game. Oh, not again. We're going to have another game where Kusta nonstop times out. That would be horrendous for enemy. But Anomaly will be the last CT left alive. He will be one versus three. Bomb going to get planted in the B bomb site. So he's got to rotate over. He's already outside the B double doors right now. So he's got a little bit of work ahead of him. He doesn't have a frag yet. He's going to possibly go through the window. They know he's outside doors now. And that's going to be Arya going out for the peak. And Anomaly not able to hit anything there. Arya is staying with 100 HP. Threes up. We'll take the pistol. But we're going to be into freeze time now as we wait for Kush to get back. Yeah, and that was a really solid round from threes up. They got picks literally everywhere they went. Their first three players just got frags immediately. And even though Kusta did eventually drop out, which is super unfortunate, uh, he would get he did get uh, timed out after he was killed. So it's not like it had a major impact on the round, maybe outside of being able to communicate where he got killed from. But yeah, before we get too far away with that, I kind of do mostly agree with those lounge odds, assuming Kusta can stay in the server longer. Threes Up had a really rough showing against a, a team in, in Lunatic, which everyone thought they'd be able to, you know, handily beat or at the very least compete with, not get blown out in two games. So uh, I, I think the the reverse hype train is real right there. People, you know, they see a team get washed and they just like, oh, you know, like oh, it's like as Dust called it last night, the faithometer which I think is yeah. a, a great name. Just no one has faith in them right now. Um, which, And I don't think the odds are exactly right in 69-31. If this was a best of three, I think it would be closer to 50-50. But because one team has to win two for the, the bet to actually happen, I, I really would be surprised if threes up can win two. So in that case, the faithometer leaning towards enemy GG, and I'd have to agree with that. Yeah, I agree. I agree with you there. Uh, I think, honestly, in my opinion, the odds should have been a little bit more in favor of enemy. But I believe people were swayed a little bit from the match that they watched the other night, where they really didn't Played perform against very. Yeah, they did. They didn't perform very well. But Liquid had new players and roster adjustments. Yeah, they just if your new players straight Chico, up out. Then... Got, yeah, they got outshot like hands down. But they still had some moments there where you're like, oh wow, this uh, this could this could happen here. And I mean, on cash, it, it wasn't horrible for them. Like, they came back pretty well on T side. I mean, they had a good run. If they just would have been able to hold a little bit more CT side rounds, they could have been well and on and into that game and forced it. But, uh, of course, it didn't work out in their favor. And then the second map was a, a little bit more rough for them. But I look for them to do better tonight against Threes Up, who's not a bad team at all. Uh, formerly known as Affinity, Threes Up is a very talented team and can put up some big numbers. But I just think, in my mind, this is honestly more of a 70-30 game. Yeah, which, you know, 1% off in either direction. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I, I don't sense. know why I was thinking it was a 60-40 game. Yeah, okay. Never mind. Uh, Ignore still, that it, comment. 1%, <laughs> I'm right. <laughs> yeah, just shuffle it that slightly. But going into this round, we're going to see threes up playing really passively. You're not going to get caught off guard by enemy who themselves are not playing too overly aggressive. So we're going to see a, a slight stalemate here. For a second, I wasn't sure if the game was paused. There's the clock winding down. It's the only thing that really revealed to me that the game was still underway. So enemy looking like they want to force threes up into having to make a play in one direction or the other. So threes up still waiting back very deep, making the smart plays here. They're trying to use that scout effectively in the hands of Aria to really try and open something up here. And uh, let's see if he can get out and uh, really do that, but not finding anything. He's actually going to go back, cross back towards the B bomb site. Here comes the B execute. Uber will be in the site, Ooh. trying to get the jump scout off. He's able to get some good damage. ZNF comes in, able to take down Davy all by himself. Uber in a bad spot, does pick up one with the pistol before Kiko will take him down. That'll make this a three on three with rotates coming in. And the pistols are right there at the door. Good dink comes out. Come on, mainline. you got to hit that. And he will. They force him to a three on two. They got to get there. They can't let Anomaly die very easily. Anomaly hits the first one. It's going to be Kiko all by himself. He does have the bomb. Getting pushed here by Mainline. 
B bomb site on lock now. An enemy looking good into an eco round. Kiko's gonna try and come around the corner. He does have the terrorist right there. CT right in front of his face. Works it into a one on one. He's out of ammo. He must be out of ammo. Out of ammo. Yep. CZ spray. What confuses me is how Anomaly didn't hit that shot as Kiko just walked through the uh, whip. Ah, uh, that's rough. Yeah, yeah, that was seeming like a round that enemy very easily could have picked up, but they did uh, deny a bomb plant there coming out from threes up, and they're forcing a lot of rebuys here, four in fact, so um, this is a, a round where threes up economy is not fully there. I guess their, their saving grace would be that enemy also was very bought into that last round, so they can't. They can't afford to, to commit on this one again or else they would be in a, a really bad economic cycle. Now they're mixing it up a little bit, not playing that waiting game like they did last round that was so successful for them. They're going to be pushing up into tunnels, but Davey's out there waiting for them. Yeah, that could have been a huge round for enemy, but enemy not able to collect it. Davey trying to spray the MAG-10, able to pick up two. There's one more there. I don't think he saw Kusta, but he's Probably still going to be... Uh, yeah, he's ready for it. Able to pick up Kusta. Normally going to be the last one left alive here. Davey's got three, and he will hit the... Well, he hits the headshot right off the bat onto Anomaly, but finishes off on the body. That'll be 3-0 to zero in favor of 3's up. And Davey starting things off right for his team with a quick 6-1 scoreline. Davey was uh, actually the top fragger in both games uh, that they played in their, in their season opener against Lunatic. So uh, very clearly, not very clearly, but clearly an MVP for their team, at least so far. Ari is not going to take any shots down the middle, just going to catch two of them jumping across. They're going to con that to his teammates and make some decisions based on that. But really standard setups from both teams here so far. I guess the uh, the non-standard thing here would be having two players at B instead of one at B and one at mid. But you know, we've seen, uh, especially in the last few games, a lot of dynamic CT side setups. And I think that's what we're seeing right here. They might get punished for it. Well, let's see. It, it's going to end up being a catwalk split here. Looks like they want to split A in general. Nope, not really going for it. Looked like the bomb was going to press up. That smoke from Kusta is going to prevent them from going. And does that nade land on point? Yes, it does. Brings Kusta all the way down to 52 HP. So a 48 damage hit off that grenade. She's going to help out a lot, getting some good damage onto him. As it looks like they're setting up for mid to B. Yes, they are. They got the smoke down at CT Connector. They're going to be able to push their way out. They have to be worried, though, about the player in CT spawn, trying to look over the top of it. He's going to be trying to find the frag. That's going to be mainline, looking for Kiko. Doesn't see him yet. Will pick up Kiko as uh, Anomaly also hits one onto Abe. So there goes Davey. It's all up to Arya now, right below mainline. Mainline can't find him. Arya hits the shot. But Kusta quick to trade the frag out. An enemy will be on the board thanks to that first buy round. Yeah, they were in a really dangerous position when 3's Up was working their way towards Cat. At that time, they had two players in CT and two at B. So if 3's Up had committed on Cat and, and just pushed up and was willing to trade... Oh, they also had their fifth man pushed all the way up on Longhouse. So there was pretty much nobody there to defend the A bomb site. Luckily, uh, they, they did eventually rotate a player back, able to uh, fend that off. And even though he, the player did eat a nade for his trouble, uh, his presence was enough to push 3's Up into the unfavorable mid to B split. That worked out really well for them, taking the first rifle round of the game. Kusta catching a frag with the op through the long double doors. A little unconventional use of the op at that angle, but hey, it worked. Anomaly very aggressive into A, as they do have that one man advantage. He's going to, or into the long A house, excuse me. Davey all the way up catwalk, though, trying to find one on the Kusta. Ends up spraying, will hit it initially. Mm. Pulls it right on over into the face of mainline. That's a huge 2K for them. That gives them the one man advantage as more players working up catwalk now. DNF's going to try and rotate out of CT spawn. Has to be careful, though, as there are going to be players above him. Two, to, two on catwalk, to be exact. The player's going to be at the long house, as there's still a CT at long. So ZNF is going to be able to work his way all the way up the ramp and be fine. Anomaly going to find Jason R, preventing long from being taken. All the players left alive here are either between catwalk and playground right now. And the bomb is planted for catwalk. They're trying to find Arya. They will get the shot on the Arya. Only one man left alive. That's Kiko. He won't go down. Uber hits the trade out frag. It's going to be another round in favor of enemies. So they string two together. They have to make three rebuys, but that will really help bolster their economy. And threes up with that bomb plant. That will help them, even though they lost the round. Still not going to be very comfortable. No, I can't imagine they're going to buy up going into this round, especially since last round they had a player with a scout and a player just rocking the CZ. So their economy is not straight, and they would really benefit from, from straightening it out.
Uh, last round, there was another round that very easily could have gone really poorly from enemy. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what the what the communication or miscommunication there was as the, the player Davey got up Cat so quickly, clearly caught Kusta out with the AWP, and even Mainline, who was hanging out in an elevator, was not really in a position to do anything about it. Both of them getting fragged right there is... You know, a bit of a mistake, both of them just being caught in positions where they have absolutely no cover. So I'm not sure if they knew he was there and thought they could just frag him or if the player in mid uh, spotting it or not spotting it just didn't catch the guy going up cat. I'm really not exactly sure how that happened, but Davey, a huge playmaker for the team. Kusa going to be looking towards Catwalk, hits the in initial one from the car, able to get a secondary shot too. The T's are still trying to work their way across. He will hit the third. Can he make this four? Mainline will prevent the fourth frag from happening as Davey works his way out mid, trying to get a flank off. See ZNF, hits him from behind, is able to take down Uber, but ZNF will turn around. That's going to be three rounds in a row now for enemy, and Kusta with the 3k trying, or shutting down the players, working their way up catwalk to the A bomb site. Yeah, and enemy, coming off of those pistol rounds, really needed to get things going on the rifle round, and since then has been looking really good with the uh, the automatic rifles in their hands. But threes up, not going to be slowing down here as well. He fully rifled up, including that op on Arya, who hasn't really been taking so many shots down mid, and even this round, not going to be taking any shots, just using it to uh, catch information for his team, and I'm sure he saw two players cross there, as that's how enemy has been playing it, but what they're not ready for is Kusta to be boosted up on Cat, looking to lower tunnels with that op. Davey about to peak. This would be a huge opening frag for Kusta, not only to remove a man from the board, but Davey has been uh, the MVP for his team so far, so... That would be an so absolutely close. monster frag. Yeah, he's so close to coming out right there. They're still holding on to this one. Mainline's going to be looking out towards Catwalk in mid. is going to be looking down towards lower B. No action yet. It's actually going to be has. coming from oh, long. He moved. And he moved at the wrong time. So there is Davey. He's going to peek out. He's able to take down Mainline. So the M4 cover for the offer. Kusta is now gone. And what 3's up just did there is they allowed, or they got their way into long, secured the pit, dropped Arya in with the op in his hands to try and make a little ruckus here uh, towards the A platform. And Anomaly's still trying to find it, but there's nobody on Catwalk anymore. All the players are either in the bomb sites or at mid. And Kusta will hit the shot onto Arya. ZNF's able to take down Davey. That's huge. He rotates back towards the car, hits Ooh. the first shot again, preventing players from easily working up Cat. And they're going to go out. Mm. Kusta hits another great shot on to Jason R and Uber comes in for the mop up another 3k round for Kusta and his op is on point tonight I talked about it last night this is the kind of guy like Whitmer who we saw last night also with their ops in hands when they're shooting well they are shooting insane with those ops and it's going to be unbelievably hard to stop them yeah, stepping up huge for his team with that 3k, and even rounds previously, using the gun really effectively at opening up rounds. Davey played some great mind games with him in lower, just not giving him the opportunity to get those opening picks, and even still 3's up, just unable to make that round happen, so he'll be forced onto another eco round here, but next round they're going to be getting their maximum loss bonus, so I assume there's going to be a lot of pressure coming out from them. Uber, going to do some damage here, but he's going to get bullied away. Here's to see if they can keep out this push. Jason R going down again, still fragless, going full James Bond 007 so far in this game. Ooh. Davey picking up two with the Wreck 9. They're able to get into the bomb site. Tristan, who two on two, as Anomaly and Kusta are pushing their way up. Kusta is going to be the close man. Pulls out the CZ. He's oh, got two flares. Well, one player lit up. He doesn't find the extra player. Looking for him, though. Davey takes him down, but Anomaly there for the trade out. So Anomaly wisely picks up the Aunt for his teammate, so he doesn't have to buy that again. Much cheaper to rebuy one M4 than it is to rebuy the one op. That is going to be enemy on an absolute roll now. That's five rounds in a row. Three's up. Going to be on maximum loss. Bonus. Yeah, threes up has cut so many rounds really close, and it's just been enemy edging them out towards the end. And they've been getting their entry frags, just haven't been able to close it out. I think that last one was a good example of that as well. And one of the kickers here, I think, is Jason Art, not fragging so far in this game. He's 0 0 and 7. He's done a grand total of 140 damage in nine rounds. That's not the way you want to start off a game. And, and his you know, one or two frags per round. Or not even per round, and like one or two rounds could have made been the, the difference between his team being in control or not. So he's going to need to step up for his team if they want to compete or else enemy GG is going to keep pulling these out towards the, the latter half of the round. So we're going to be into round nine. Lots of grenade damage off onto Uber. He's completely lit up out in the middle trying to spray through the smoke so there. So much damage. 
Yeah, does a ton of damage, pulls out the pistol, can't find the frag onto Jason R. And the T's are in trouble here, trying to rotate back into B, or into the B tons anyways. Not having a lot of, um, not having a lot of luck there, so they're gonna rotate it back towards B. Kusta's gotta be careful here, gotta look back towards Tunnel, there's gonna be a peek coming out. Wow, he just barely avoids it, sees the first one, misses the shot! So the hot hand of Kusta just fails him there, Molotov will force him backwards a little bit, as he takes quite a bit of burn damage, and then grenades coming in, mainline will go down to Abe, and the T's have earned their way into this B bomb site, can they hold on? Abe is actually gonna take down Anomaly, that's two for him on the round, it's all up to ZNF and Kusta here. They're gonna be two versus five, albeit against some very weak terrorists. And Jason R goes down right off the bat, but good crossfire on the door. DNF gonna have some trouble, hits the first shot. As Kusta will go down, but here comes Abe on the flank, gets himself the 4K on the round. Threes up, prevents themselves from going down, uh, going down too many rounds here. And uh, we'll bring this within one. Yeah, huge individual play from Abe, allowing them to lock that round up. Four frags is massive there, but you know, they won a round, and Jason R got a frag and an assist. That's not a coincidence in my eyes. I mean, it's it's a, a full team game, and if your full team isn't fragging, then you're going to have problems. But once he's now, I mean, the floodgates may be open for him now. He, he was uh, putting himself in good positions before and just unable to lock him up. But getting that opening frag and allowing his team to rotate off that and then pressure Kusta in the B-bomb site was a, a great way to set up that round for his teammates and to set up Abe to ultimately go on that frag tear. So... Good on him for, for getting it back going, but he needs to keep going. That was just one round out of ten where he was mildly successful, so he, he needs to have a few more of those. But I see Arya taking a crazy boost with Davey over the long double doors, but these enemy players just really do a good job of not exposing themselves and not allowing the threes up players to, to catch these opening frags. But Abe, gonna rip that right from them. CNF's gonna be trying to get into the B-tons, or at least peek it, but he was completely blind there, ends up getting punished, as we have Kiko picking up a frag also, and oh, Ooh, there goes Kusto, there what go. a shot from Jason R to shut that down, and Kiko gets another one to close the round out, threes up, has tied it up at 5-5. Five to five. Yeah, so it seems like he is now fully awoken, but there was a lot of uh, choking there from enemy, particularly on that last flank with that last counter terrorist just not even being able to hit a terrorist that's not looking his direction. But still, a lot of damage going out for enemy early, just not able to lock up the frags. And we're going to see a, a tie game. And, you know, this is uh, probably the only map in the rotation that has a slight terrorist non, but it is almost 50-50. We're talking like 55-45 here for terrorist side. And are you going to be missing that first shot? Missing a oh, second no. shot. He's in a lot of danger here. 8 HP. But still wow. able to frag his way through it. Yeah, he worked that one out well for himself. He was down to 8 HP, missed a bunch of shots, but there were terrorists uh, rotating towards the palm tree. So here comes Mainline. Sight USB in hand, trying to take down Abe. We'll hit the initial shot on Abe. Gonna get into a gunfight with Kiko. But Kiko has the AK in hand. One tap happens. That's five to six now in favor of threes up, who are uh, getting some momentum going in their favor now. That's three in a row for them. Yeah, it's actually going to be a double save coming out from... Oh, I thought it was going to be a double save coming out from enemy, but they're actually going to be choosing two buy up on this round, so... Not going to have a lot of luxuries here going into this round. It's going to include a FAMAS, no head armor, not that it's super important, and, and some grenades, but not as many as I'm sure they would like. We're actually seeing threes up, sporting some Molotovs and using them really effectively, particularly in zoning Kusta out and not allowing him to be a huge impact player with his off, so you got to imagine enemy themselves would love the luxury of, of having incendiary grenades too. We're going to have Davey all the way up the catwalk, trying to find a shot there on the Kusta. We'll hit him a little bit, but it's going to be through the the edge of the pillar, or the edge of the box slash concrete lip right there. Not able to get much out of it. Kusta still trying to work his way around in that bomb site. Doesn't have an off in his hands. Molotov is going to force him backwards. Mainline is able to pick up Aria. Kusta goes out wide because of that Molotov. And Davey picks the frag up anyways, thanks to his AK doing some damage. But it's a fake. They're actually going to be taking the B bomb site as Jason R gets an entry frag. B bomb site oh, wide open. But, oh, look at the flank. Fast flank coming out. That was actually Kiko's teammate, so now he's going to think, oh, I feel safe. Mm. ZNF lines up too. He's got to be careful. Lower B, though. Watching the no. tunnels, looking for Davey. Can he hit it? He will. ZNF gets three on the round to force us into a three on one. Three man retake. Kiko trying to hide right there at the double doors in the smoke. He's going to go out fast. Mainline will pick him up. And we have enemy tying this thing back up at six to six.
Yeah, they're going to need to uh, keep the rounds together to break the economy of threes up. That has gotten really strong in those last few rounds. They did only string together three, which is not a massive streak, but it's super cheap to be a terrorist in this game. In rounds 10 and 11, they were able to keep five and then four players alive. So not a lot of rebuys. It's going to put almost all of their players at 10K. It's going to keep them in this game competitively. Enemy doing a good job stepping up on a, a round where they really needed to win it to keep their economy intact. But as I said, they're not out of the woods quite yet. They need another one of those. And it may come off the back of another ZNF big play like that flank there. I mean, that, that lineup frag was huge. Or frags yeah. there. Yeah, that was absolutely gigantic for them to make that thing happen. Uh, ZNF picking up two, able to make that into a 3K. Enemy really tore that round down thanks to ZNF getting the flank off. But remember, Davey was right behind him and lower for a couple seconds, and he was able to get away and just run away from ZNF. And to execute that, then, uh, or run away from Davey, then finally Davey goes down at the end of the exchange. And uh, Enemy looking good so far, making this uh, into round 13 a tied up game here with the possibility of uh, taking another big chunk out of threes up economy. It wouldn't be a save Ooh. yet. Oh, but Arya out in mid, able to take down ZNF, so five to four advantage in favor of threes up. Yeah, he doesn't realize how close he is to Kusta though, and actually Arya's really pushed up without a lot of support here, so he needs to not do that where he's gonna get killed and be in a position where he can't get traded out. It's gonna be mainline and Kusta on cab. They're gonna have to fall back into CT and stop this mid to B push that's uh, coming out right now. Look like uh, they're going to drop one player down. Smoke's going to be in the way. He's got to hurry here to get onto this box. He's got to get it. Oh, man. No way. Mainline gets caught trying to do that. Abel take him down. Uber, last one left in the sight. He did get one frag before he went down. Turns it into a two-on-two -two with Kusa and his teammate on the rotate. Oh, that Molotov Ooh. almost killed Jason R. He's so lucky he didn't die right there. Goes down to 3 HP, but that one will burn him out. No bomb plan coming from them. Kusa takes a ton of damage in the fire. He's going to go down <laughs> to his own fire, committing to get that frag and not allowing Kiko to get a bomb plant. That makes it 7-6. to six. Enemy has regained the lead once again. Yeah, very much worth it for him to get that frag and just lock that round down, especially since they were able to deny threes up that plant. But it would have been really, 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 really helpful for him to stay alive there and just that, and make that one more gun that they didn't need to rebuy because of that they're still not really on economic uh, solid footing despite stringing together the round. So threes up kind of at the tail end of their economic do dominance that they earned earlier also need a win to pull themselves back in it. Enemy just has a way of pulling these rounds together at the very last second. I feel like 3Zop has been doing a good job getting opening picks uh, despite taking some damage and being traded out early on, but as soon as the round breaks down, Enemy just finds a way, whether it be ZNF's flank or, or just, you know, good Molotov play right there coming out from Enemy. Just uh, different, a multitude of different ways for them to just pull it out at the last second, or sometimes even Kusta's off getting it done. So into round 14, enemy with that one round advantage, and that was what I was talking about. They took a huge chunk out of threes up economy. If you look now, not even a single player over 2,600. I mean, Aria all the way down to 50 bucks, but that's, of course, because he's buying the ops. So he's going to have the weakest economy when they're losing these rounds. I like that counter flash from Anomaly, albeit a little bit too early. Trying to find some frags. They know he's in the pit. Mainline has to rotate uh, relatively tell. quick here to help him. And Anomaly going for the re -peak. He's not really in danger yet. Here comes the push. There's Kusta stepping up. Able to get one as Jason R, or Abe, excuse oh, Abe. me, takes down his own teammate. That's rough. Anomaly out of the pit. We'll get one more. And that is going to be a 2k for him as Jason R's got two frags, does have an op in his hands, he can use it pretty effectively here. And Kusta, with that silent M4, is in the bomb site. Uber's going to be down low, ZNF down low also. Jason R's going to go for the cross, right in the smoke will be ZNF who drops him out of the round. Op pick up and uh, Uber actually grabs the op, doesn't allow Kusta, his teammate, to get it, but I'm sure he's dropping it to him now. And uh, yeah, yeah, it looks like the trade outs happening there but enemy up eight to six as we hit the final round of the half gonna be a buyout from threes up and it's not gonna be a safe buyout yeah major league choke coming out from abe there as well not only did he kill his own teammate was weak but still come on you don't want to be picking up any 2ks then also had that first opportunity to take down anomaly in the pit he was hit down to like single digit hp couldn't get a single bolt on him. i don't even know if he pulled the trigger which is crazy because he knew exactly where anomaly was he allowed Anomaly to get that frag, and then one right after that because he was just unable to shut that down. So great work from Anomaly there, being in a position where I thought he was going to be the first one dead easily right off the bat. And not only was he not, but he was able to get multiple frags off of it. Davey, though, hitting him down to not, uh, to 1 HP from 100. So 99 damage grand total going Ooh. out. Man, Kusta has been lights out from long, off in hand until Kiko takes him down. 
Ego trying to find another frag in the bomb site, and he will get it. Uber's gonna be the rotate man. Abel, get him. And this is turning into a round that threes up should win, making this an 8 7 half. Unless Anomaly with 1 HP from long can really get something going for himself here. He's gonna try and peek out. ZNF is already pushed up through CT spawn. This nade's gonna go down. Let's see where the nade. No, nade does not come out from Kiko. He's still just holding on to it here. But he's going to be the close man behind that corner. Anomaly's going to be on Anomaly. Gets a good spray off onto him. Goes down. ZNF trades one frag. He's going to look for the next Super player. Super losable here. That's gonna be, oh, Abe. Abe's going to go for the peak, but he looks away at the wrong time. Abe knows that it was a fake. Abe's going to come out wide, and Abe will hit the shot. And man, if only ZNF would have just looked up for a little bit longer, he would have been able to hit that shot and get back onto the bomb. Win that round. So 8 7 half in favor of enemy. Extremely close game between these two teams. Yeah, great back and forth there. And especially since he had so much time to play with on the clock, he d easily could have afforded to be looking up for that extra second. He wasn't, he had a kid on him, so five second defuse. He didn't need to look back down and retap the bomb. You know, I, I get why he did, but he definitely had some time to play with. So, just some unfortunate timing for them there. And that was a round where Threes Up very easily could have blown that. And that would have been really, once again, playing right into Enemy's wheelhouse, just picking up these rounds at the last second once the once the strat breaks down. But now they're going to have their own opportunity, opportunities to execute on Threes Up. And I'm curious what they're going to bring to the table. I think we've, we've seen some really nice... T side play from enemy come out in the pro placement games, but those are also different caliber teams than threes up. Very, very true. So second half will be starting now, and enemy going to be switching this to the T side. They are a much more T sided team. So let's see if they can have a little bit better of a half here. Run away with these. You guys remember, uh, threes up was able to take down the pistol round, win the two anti ecos, and as soon as we got into gun rounds, it was five rounds in a row in favor of enemy in the first half. They looked on point once they got the guns in their hands. They got a little bit shaky after that, but this round, again, pistol play coming out from threes up. Far superior to what enemies bring into the table, and only one man left alive. It's going to be Uber, and he's going to have that Glock in his hand, and uh, does end up getting a dink there onto Arya. Brings him down low on HP, but they know where he's at. He's still able to find the frag onto Arya. Now he's worked it into a one-on-four with Davey low on HP, Kiko low on HP. See if Uber can find this through the smoke somehow. He's gonna jump over the top, see the shot, no and some take it down. Kiko has gotta look up over the top, getting flanked. And he does hit that one on the Abe. He's worked it all the way down to a one on two with Davey down to 14 HP. Jason R will be the aggressor though with 100. And Jason R, all he has to do is touch him in the feet. He will get the shot off, but Uber got three before he goes down. We're tied up eight to eight now. Yeah, great job from Uber there, making that round a lot closer than he should have been, but still threes up dominance. Early on in the round, made that a, a, a fairly easy cleanup there for Jason R. That's actually a refreshing change for Threes Up, especially based on their last outing against Lunatic, where they lost four for four pistol rounds. So uh, the fact that they're able to come back and not only win the first one, but then pick up a second one as well, that's really good, showing some rapid improvement because, yeah, I don't know. That, that, that first game, I, I guess, it speaks for itself. I feel like everyone knows uh, what happened there, but. Arya getting it done with the scout so far here. Make that two for him. Yeah, looking good with that thing in his hands. Able to hit some good shots here. And man, the cleanup crew from threes up. Able to come out and uh, just mop the end of that round up. That gives them the one round advantage as it will be nine to eight in favor of threes up. All I have to do is hold on for one more anti-eco. And this should be a ten to eight scoreline. Yeah, even still, enemy showed some dominance with rifles in their hands in that first half. You know, even though they did lose that uh, the the first three rounds to uh, to the pistols, were able to battle back and win the majority of the rifle rounds, only dropping four. So, be curious to see how they can. You know, I said battle back with rifles in their hands, but I don't see them being yeah. able to eco uh, threes up right now. They have been a little too coordinated here, and with just P250s in hands, I'm not sure if they'll be able to beat the firepower. Yeah, I mean, you have Arya inside the B-bomb site, Scout in hand. We got Jason R and Davey at the B-bomb site with Kiko on the fast rotate out of CT spawn. He's going to be looking up top towards uh, the catwalk. That nade should collect it. Yes, it will. Mainline will go down to Jason R. There goes Uber. Jason R is able to hit that one also. So now Anomaly will peek out. Davey finds it with the FAMAS. They're going to be five on one 
Now, with only ZNF left alive at long A, they're going to be looking in his direction. Jason R spots him. ZNF trying to pop out, get some quick headshots, but nothing's going his way. Goes all the way down to 7 HP. He will get met outside a long house, though. It's going to be A, but right there with the P90, and he will get the frag. So 10 to 8 is the scoreline in favor of 3's up, but we should have enemy onto a buy now. And let's see if they can get things going again. Yeah, and they're not going to be able to afford an op on Kusta this round, so them being able to get these opening picks is going to be a little more difficult, I think, but I still think it's something they're capable of doing. Interestingly enough, we're not going to see threes up the upgrading some of the guns they have, so it's going to be two FAMASs from them. And also, right off the bat, we're going to see a different CT side setup coming out from threes up, including uh, a 2 3 split right now, but I assume one of those players in B is going to go back and it'll at least be spotting mid, but. Uh, it's Kiko. I was actually going to be coming back from it. I was going to say. So they're going to be going for a, a similar uh, hold now than uh, than enemy was, but it took a second for them to get back to it. Either way, they timed their return really well, and that's a frag piece for Arya and Kiko. Yeah, good opening frags in their favor. So now it's going to be up to Anomaly, ZNF, and Uber. Oh, Arya misses the shot there on Anomaly. Anomaly is able to escape for the time being. Arya trying to find it again. Can't quite get it. Uber's going to be throwing the flashbang out. Arya not blind at all, just watching the double doors if anyone tries to push through. I don't think anybody's really going to get aggressive on it. They know which side Arya is on. Does he find a shot? He will find it onto Anomaly. That's going to leave ZNF and Uber now. Two versus five. AKs in hand. This is worrisome for them as uh, Threes Up should be able to pick up this uh, gun round here. Arya going to be looking up top. They're actually going to try and boost somebody over with an wow. AK. He gets punished and, by that same boost. Oh, uh, no. They weren't close enough, so they have to redo the boost. And they should have heard the jump there. Now somebody's really close on CT side uh, to the CT double doors. So if they did get the shot off on the boost right there, they'd easily be traded out from the guy at double doors. Because all he has to do is look up towards Catwalk near Xbox and just melt them. As Jason R finds one onto Uber. ZNF, last one left alive. They know he's at the A bomb site. Not a lot of HP to work with here. Can he find Davey right off the bat? No, Davey with the FAMA. He'll be able to jump inside the site, get himself an AK, and 3's up will hold on on that buy round. Yeah, I have to say, Jason R has become a, a rock for 3's up, despite the fact that he started so slow. He's really come alive here, and you know, he was, what, 0-7 to start the game in the first 9 or, or 10 or so rounds, and has since only died, what, 5 times and picked up 13 frags and 3 assists in that time, so... Uh, he was, I, I mean, what, they, that was when they were getting worked really badly. They were essentially playing four on five, and now that he's come alive, he's actually fragging now. They're, I mean, he's been, I think, the difference between those close rounds going enemy's way, and then now threes up to shutting down enemy before they can even get going. Arya with the op in his hands will open this thing up. Jason R also getting in the mix. But Kusta on the quick trade out frag. Kusta is able to find two. They worked this into a three on three. Now, can the Deagle hit some headshots? No one taps coming out for him. No one digs today. But ZNF is going to plant this towards the catwalk. Uh, he doesn't really have a choice. They need to get the bomb down and get some money in their pockets because there were Molotovs in the middle of the site, so they weren't able to get a good plant off in their favor. But two CTs rotated up the ramp. Kiko is able to take down ZNF. There's still guns up in the hands of Uber and Kusta. Uber's head is peeking out. Abe's trying to find it. Uber will get him anyway, so now it's all up to Kiko. Got his back turned to Kusta, and enemy picks up an eco round thanks to Kusta with the 4K, and he gets an op out of it. Wow, stepping up huge, huge, huge for his team right there and as you said Abe was spotting that head and just trying to bide his time for an opportunity and by the time it came to him he just got absolutely ripped so really well done by enemy there and well I mean Kusta really well done from Kusta there uh, but still you know it's always a team effort I'm sure a lot of players had to die to allow Kusta to pick up those four frags so good on them huge long exchange going out here especially since there's two more threes up players left to go Davey gonna get taken down early but it's not going to stop them from pressuring on long for at least a little bit, but it looks like they're falling back now, and they can try to play Cat a little more aggressively. They're going to swing this back towards the Catwalk. I don't think Enemy really knew that there was that many players at long. It doesn't really matter, though. They take long eight control for the time being. They're able to drop Kusta and the op near the pit, so he can just secure long A for them. And it looks like they really want to try and split this towards that A bomb site, especially with Kusta already in the pit. They just have to worry about the two players on the catwalk. They're playing very cautious here, waiting for the smoke to go away. It's going to be a pop flash comes down. Both players partially blind. 
actually Kiko completely blind. Jason R does pick up one. A bomb site wide open, and it looks like enemy, if they can hold on here, will be able to string this into two rounds in a row. Oh, Kusta pushes up long, takes down Arya. Now it's all going to be up to Abe. Working against Anomaly out in mid, trying to push through the double doors. Won't find the frag onto Anomaly because Anomaly hits him in the face with the AK. That's enemy only down by one round now. And actually going to be forcing threes up onto uh, a save of their own. So there are now looks like they, they could be able to string this back together into uh, a tying scoreline, which is really exactly what they needed. They haven't been there at all with the pistol rounds, and it's cost them a grand total, what, six rounds this game? Uh, but as soon as they get rifles in their hands, they, they, they tend to come alive. They've been trading really well, and, and really, that round... 20 eco win was was huge. They they needed something desperately to kick them into high gear, but we see a huge long push coming out from oh, the no way. and they're actually somewhat successful here. But it seems like enemy uh, mainline and Kusta are are getting back on track. Yeah, mainline's gonna be weak on AP though, and Aria does pick up the frag. He's gonna run over there, picks up a different pistol, trying to work his way towards the AK, but Kusta at the top of palm tree or top mid palm tree area. Flash. Yeah, we'll pull out the Rec 9, able to get the shot off. So now it's just going to be Jason R. He grabs himself an AK. He doesn't need to go for this if he doesn't feel like it. Enemy's going to be able to tie this up. He could save that AK uh, and live to fight into the next round with it, but looks like he feels it's going to be B, so he's going to go in that direction. He might have a... Well, no, not might. He will have a one-on-one. -on -one. Nah, not anymore. He had a one-on-one -on -one inside the B bomb site until Kusta actually works his way outside to the safe area where his teammate has already got control outside of the B double doors. So smart play by him. saving. They haven't looked towards tunnels once, and it seems like Kusta now is going to be slowly aware of it. Oh, no. No uh, but Jason way. R. Yeah, he could have walked oh, into that man. bomb site and got it. But he doesn't have x-ray, so he has no idea. Yeah, definitely. That was such a weird back and forth between those two teams there. Despite the fact that no one saw anyone, there were a lot of crazy ways for that round to have broken down. But uh, ultimately, I think Jason R is making the right decision holding on to that AK because his teammates not exactly made of money here. Uh, they have uh, certainly enough to put together a you know not terrible buy, but... Um, uh, holding on to that AK is going to make a huge difference for them, particularly if they lose this round yeah. right here. I mean, they're not going to be in great shape. So, really a big make or break round four threes up right here. And oh, Kusa going to start yeah. things off right with an off pick. Oh, man, not the way and you want to start Aria. the round if you're Arya. Yeah, huge yeah. fragger. And Arya has been, been setting the tone with that off. I think Kusta also just saw Kiko there, so he knows what's up. Ooh, Davey does find the frag onto Anomaly, though, somehow, even though Anomaly actually got the drop on him. Oh, ZNF, gotta be careful here, uh, Jason ZNF. R was ready for it. ZNF should know better not to go that close, but he thought he was safe, trying to wrap his way around, so just like that, threes up, regains control of this round with that one-player advantage, and Kusta with the op, ever so deadly with it in his hands. Let's see if he can find another frag. They're going to try and boost him up over the top of the smoke to peek out. Kiko's going to actually rotate out. Let's see if Kusta's able to make this happen. They need to squeak out a little bit farther now. Smoke is going to prevent them from really being able to get that off successfully. Jason R is going to be jump peeking, oh, throws Davey. a flashbang, makes Before the Davey call. Is too. Oh, yeah. So Jason R is going to be right there on the ramp. They should know at least two, I believe he's song. Oh, Davey with two. That's Uber and Kusa down, but Mainline coming on strong here. Gotta be careful trying to find the heads of uh, Kiko, who's right below him. He's gonna jump down on the Kiko. Kiko goes down. Gotta be careful. Abe is right there around the corner. He's only got the pistol in his hands. Mainline, you gotta fake this, buddy. Now You're gonna right get way. smoked. Nope. No. Oh, wow. That could have been really bad if Abe didn't hit that shot. But he's able to take down Mainline, and that is a huge round coming out from threes up to prevent enemy from going up by a round and uh, really... Uh, Get their economy going back in the correct direction now. Yeah, Davey, such a heavy fragger for his team and constantly positioning himself so well. The thing that enemy has going for them, though, was that the three-round uh, spree where they kept a lot of players alive and didn't force too many rebuys happen. Well, actually, I mean, that round 20 was off an eco round win, so that was a round where they spent almost no money and got guns for their trouble, so that's really what, what allowed them to come in here with a, a really strong-looking economy. And Kusta getting it done again, taking Arya down immediately. That's going to leave Abe alone at, in the B bomb site, and nades are absolutely going in. They're, all of the terrorists are pouring out right now. Abe spotted one. He's going to try to pop flash his way in, but he gets punished for it. Ooh. Mainline stepping up big. That is huge. Kusta and Mainline getting both the frags so far. Oh, Mainline should be able to find this one onto Kiko. Looking to do it. Goes for the repeat. Doesn't get punished, so Kiko's going to have to rotate backwards. 
And as you can see, it looks like Threes Up is already committed to the save. And yeah, they are. They're going to save three players. So they save the op in their hands because this is going to hard reset them now. They won one and uh, bought fully into this thing. So they're going to have no Jesus. money next round. And yeah, enemy is well aware. They now know where Davey is. But uh, do they commit? Oh, Kiko is able to hit a shot there on the ZNF also. Anomaly, you got to look left. He doesn't look left. Will go down and mainline and his teammate Uber at this point. They've lost a lot of players. They've dropped three in this round. No reason to lose any more and risk it. So they will be able to save their guns. They'll be trying to find an op if they're able to, but it doesn't look like they're going to be able to save one. So that is going to tie it up at 12 to 12 with threes up having three guns in this round and nothing else to support themselves. Yeah, luckily, the uh, saving players for enemy are going to have plenty of cash to buy up their teammates that are not fully there. Mikusta, such a huge impact player for his team. Back-to-back -back rounds, just removing Arya from the round, and that just sets up the, the rest of his teammates. And he's actually going to hit Abe crossing there as well, so just continuing to make his presence uh, important in this game as the long take is on. Davey and Jason Arden need to step up, and Davey hitting ZNF through the smoke. What a wow. solid player. Yeah, that was good heads-up play by him to make that spray happen. Uh, man. But, I mean, Abe's taking a ton of damage into this round, down to 29 HP for them to collect that frag. David down to 74, Jason R down to 75. And they are going to have that one-man advantage. And it's going to be up to enemy here to try and keep things going in their favor. Otherwise, they're resetting themselves at this point, considering the fact that they had to make so many rebuys because they hunted so hard and couldn't even drop any of the guns out of the freeze up hands. Good pop flash comes out from Jason R, able to peek out. Gets mainline down out of the way, so Anomaly's going to try and work his way up cap right now, too. And Anomaly goes down to Jason and R. He's playing catwalk so lights out right now. I'll leave just Uber and Kusta left. Yeah, Anomaly not quite setting up for his team like they have needed him to. Now moving up into the bomb, so with 40 seconds left, Jason R getting hit down to 2 HP and not getting punished for that peak. Either way, this is still a pretty winnable round for enemy, especially if they can get that frag, but they can't. Davey stepping oh, Kusta, up. Kusta, Kusta! Oof. That was lucky that he stayed alive right there. Gets them all on top. Oh, Davey. Wow. Davey ends up taking him down with a headshot. That is going to give threes up the hard reset on enemy now. So enemy's going to be in trouble going into this next round. Yeah, no. And I'm we just, he needs to start fragging. We're, we're running into a situation like early in the game with Jason R where... He, he, those fra if he picks up, you know, one frag around or just cleaning up some frags that someone else already did a lot of damage on, those that could very easily be the difference between winning and losing some of these rounds. And eight and seventeen is just not the scoreline his team needs right now. I think mainline himself, thirteen and twenty-two, not quite there, but it, it's clear that anomaly dragging down the team that much more and potentially making all of Kusta's efforts for not here as he is stepping up huge with a 27 and 18 scoreline and similarly Davey the MVP for his team 27 and 16 hard to deny those players are having a massive impact here Ooh, Aria out in mid able to shut down Anomaly Abe's right there also it's gonna be enemy trying to work their way into B wow how does Aria stay alive in that thing somehow with 5 HP will survive oh, the round oh yeah he is He's still able to find one shot, trying to find the others. Nothing he can really do about it, and that's going to be threes up, going up 14 to 12 over enemy. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing them pause here to get Kusa's internet straight, or I don't know what it is, but not the player you want lagging right now. I mean, even still, he was able to pick up two frags on the round, despite the fact that he was lagging. But still, not the player you want to be in an uncomfortable playing position. You want him to just be the most comfortable. You let him work his momentum, because he's been a huge impact player. And he's getting another pick. He's mixing it up every time, just constantly taking different angles. He's just been faster than Arya on the mid-picks every time. So, good on him stepping up big, and Abe himself getting hit down to 51 HP. Yeah, that is rough. Kusta so far, I, I believe that's the second actual mid-battle that they've engaged with each other, and Kusta's won both of them. Is it the third? Either way, I'm pretty sure he's won all of them, though. No matter what in mid, he's won them all. Yeah, he hasn't gotten picked by Arya like that yet. Yeah, so, I, I mean, that's great for them. You just need the rest of your team to really step up. I mean, Uber's at 16 frags, ENF, mainline, all kind of in the argument. Anomaly... Out playing like Anomaly, so enemy really needs that to happen. They've already worked two players into the A-bomb site without Kiko even noticing. And uh, ZNF and his teammate Kusta will be trying to look towards long. There is going to be a player in the pit. They see him, they fire off a shot. Now, Kiko knows he's allowed players to get up catwalk without making a call here. Jason is going to be in a tough spot in the pit. Almost gets ripped apart by Kusta. That shot extremely close. 
And it's going to be a bomb plant in A. There goes Jason Arcusta. Will hit that one. Goes down to 19 HP to make it happen. All they have to do is hold on to Catwalk here. Bomb plants it for them. On oh, Uber takes down Abe. Yeah, there's nothing really uh, that 3's up can do from this point. Uber's going to take down Davey also. So it's going to be Kiko, last man standing. And they're going to hunt again here. Uh, this time in a much more advantageous position. Oh, they're going to catch him. CNF's going to get him unless Kiko takes him down. But he's got a quick trade out drag if he needs to from another player in lower. But ZNF will hit it. No save coming up from threes up. That'll bring it back within one round. Wow, insanely, insanely close game here. But threes up economy still not fully there. Hasn't quite recovered like they've needed it to. And that's a, a round where uh, Enemy GG was able to keep all five players alive. So what is going to be a mostly free round from them is, is going to be huge, especially if they lose this one and are going to need to force up to keep this game competitive. But... I mean, what, the most a player is spending is anomaly at, at $1,200, so mm, everyone stepping up when they need to. Apparently, Jason freezing up a little bit here, but Kusta himself facing some lag spike issues. So kind of an advantageous pause coming out for, for both players or both teams as uh, anyway, everyone needs to get comfortable. Yeah, this is definitely going to favor threes up at this point. I mean, they can get something going, maybe a little bit tactical, but they're having players with Jason R., uh, or problems with Jason R as Kusta's also having a little bit of issues, but they're ready. So let's see how long it's going to take threes up to get ready. They can try and come up with something here to figure out what they need to do onto this pistol. As you can see, we already have one player upgrading uh, to pistol armor. That's going to be Davey, and I wonder how much money they're going to commit into this, or they're just allowing Davey to even out his economy a little bit here. And uh, it doesn't look like anybody else will be, so it's just going to be Davey and Abe evening out their economy a little bit. Uh, but they have, or enemy GG has a huge advantage here going forward. Let's see if Kusta can get any picks. And uh, only one crosses, tries to find the fast shot. He's going to call that only one cross, guys. And uh, it's actually going to be a fast boost on Cat. Let's see if he sniffs this one out and looks down towards mid. He's not going to find the angle, but he's going to be in a dangerous position here if the three's up players. something's up, though. Yeah, they're going to continue to push their way up. Let's see. Kusta is, yeah, he's ready. He's looking for this. Jason are going down the, uh, the dark alley, though. Could catch. Oh no, how did he miss that shot? He's in huge trouble here. Tons of pistols gonna be right in his face. They take him down. They're gonna be able to get that off though, unless the number one man is ZNF can prevent them from grabbing it. He's gonna rush all the way through T spawn. They're gonna get into that one on one. He takes Drop down the AB. Op. Yep, Op is out of the way. Abe does pick up one with the pistol on mainline. There goes Arya. Uber's gotta be careful trying to find the shot mm. onto Abe, but Abe now has the AK and cleanup crew does its job. ZNF. Able to get three out of that, and enemy has tied it up at 14 to 14. Yeah, Zena stepped up huge right there. Just, uh, I mean, yeah, the frags, whatever, our eco frags, those are pretty easy. Those are dime a dozen. But taking that off out of Davy's hands and not allowing him to, to make any progress with it was absolutely, and even save with it. There's no chance that I, they were able to win that round, I don't think. I think they would have had to really do some crazy, crazy work, and the time and range was against them. But we we'll be seeing a, a B take here coming out. Enemy just rushing right into the site. Flash is going out. Abe's so blind, gonna get killed. Arya trading it out though. Getting two for his trouble, Ooh. but needs to get killed. Someone kill Arya. Jesus Christ, that's three on the round. That's wow. four. Wow. Wow. That is blown up by Arya. He's able to get himself four frags out of that. Holds the site. Pretty much alone right there. Well, he had his teammate inside the site. That's going to be Abe. And that's going to give threes up unless Kusa can come out absolutely insane in this thing. And one versus four to win the round. Uh, Arya, with that 4K, is going to be able to secure it for his team and give themselves at least overtime here. But, I mean, what a great play coming out of Arya. Those peaks were perfect. The op shots were great. Man, that's looking ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, Abe was Arya saving grace there. It, it, if anything, it would be the opposite. It should be Arya getting caught off with the op, and then Abe positioning himself properly to get a huge spray down. Not like that. Anything but that enemy. Man, that's so tough. That very easily could have been a, a game-winning frag wow. right there on Arya. Kusta now, 10 HP. Gonna get hunted down here. Should be an easy cleanup here. Yep, there it is. Davey will find the frag. Aria missed, or excuse me, not Aria. Uh, Kusta missed like three shots right there onto Davey, at least two. But man, that is rough. Threes Up has secured themselves that 15th round and overtime. So now it's all up to Enemy to try and force this into OT so they don't drop map number one. Yeah, they, they really could have won the game with that one frag right there. I mean, obviously, the, uh, some other things need to line up with the rest of that round, but even after Arya takes two, that, they'll take that, that trade there. I mean, Abe went down without doing any damage. Even if you're going two for two in that site, you're getting so much positional advantage. 
that they should have been able to, to I mean, pick up a round win off of that and super unfortunate turn of events there. But I'm going to see a mid to B split here. Or I think. It looks like that's what they're gearing up for. They might just be hanging out trying to find a pick. And Davey will be able to find himself one. He's able to take down Anomaly, so the uh, the Anomaly problems have continued into the final round of regulation here in map number one. Aria will pick up Uber. They're setting themselves up right here. Kusta trying to go out for the trade out frag. Not going to be able to find it just yet, so he's still trying to pick down in the middle. And uh, uh, that's rough. He's going to go for the peak here, but I do not think Aria is going to go for the peak on that angle again. And uh, this is this is looking really rough for enemy at this point. They're going to be down four versus three with mainline lit ZNF lit. Kusta is the only one at full HP. He really needs to work that off. Yeah, desperately needs a pick here, but time and uh, HP are just not on their side. Kiko's been doing a mostly solid job of playing from CT here, but the smoke's raining in. They're going to try to keep him away. Now Molotov coming in as well. Oh, oh it's ZNF. ZNF. Yeah, right. Brutal. Needed to hop down and or didn't even need to hop down. Just needed to catch a frag in some way, but that's not going to be it. Now, one man left for enemy GG. Looks like he's going to be locked Ooh. in. But Kusta is running and frag. Oh. Oh, he's going to run right into Abe, and that is that. 16 to 14 is three up. Just barely squeaking that out. Oddly enough, off the back of, uh, well, I mean, Davey was an absolute monster, but Aria and uh, Jason R stepped up huge in the, the latter half of that game, went from bottom of the scoreboard, uh, especially in terms of damage, and then stepped up in a huge way for their team. I mean, had had they not stepped up in the way they did, and, and they I think there would have been a, a blowout in favor of enemies, so good on them, uh, especially Jason R not getting stressed out in the beginning, like, 0-0-1-7 zero, yeah. zero, is a tough way to start the game, and I know me personally, if I start like that, it kind of just gets progressively worse and worse, but he had the exact opposite. That was like his peak low, and he skyrocketed to the top and ended up doing, the like, by a long shot, the most damage for his team on that CT side. So really good step up from everyone there on 3's up, taking enemy's own map away from them. Yeah, that uh, that's not where you want to go on map number one, but they do get the side advantage here on Inferno to start things off with, so that's going to bode well for them. But, I mean, they need to have a stellar CT side. Uh, again, as I said, they are more of a T-sided team. They play more effectively there. They win the majority of the rounds. Uh, they just need to have a good CT side better than an 8-7.5, uh, especially on this map. You give threes up, an 8-7.5, threes up, we'll take that and run away with it. Yeah, but we're talking about an 8-7 on Dust 2 as compared to an 8-7 on uh, Inferno. I expect, yeah. I will, if Enemy wants to at the very least tie this, they're going to need a, a lot better than an 8 side. If 3's up can pick up 7 rounds, that I think that'll be all she wrote. But, you know, 8-7 on Dust 2, not terrible from the CT side. It's no, it's not. A not at all. 50-50 map. You know, they, I, I really think they should have been able to turn that into a, a map win, 16-14 their own way. But, I mean, the, the kicker was Arya. Aria just yep. not going down, picking up that massive 4K uh, there to to that. I mean, that those frags right there won the game for his team. Um, but still, uh, it's hard to if you're Kusta, that has to be so frustrating. He fragged out of his mind. You know, anomaly just not quite there for his team. Didn't step up in the same way that Aria and Jason R did. And that you know, I, I think anomaly picking up six more frags through the course of that second half, and that would have been the difference between a win or a loss. I, I agree with you there, but we are waiting for map number two to get underway, guys, between these guys, these two teams, Enemy GG and 3's Up, in your SIVO MLG Season 8 Pro League. So while we're waiting for them to get into the server and get fully readied up, we're going to throw it to a commercial break. Once they're all in the server and readied, we will start this thing off in the pistol round, so bear with us, guys. We'll be back as soon as we can be.